Congratulations, you have activated my trap card. I knew somebody would bring that up and I will now proceed to run some absolute filth on these green players. Thank you. First, absolutely yes, mana is valuable. It is the backbone of Magic's resource system and green being able to cheat it gives them a huge advantage. However, the game has a lot of pieces and each color gets to cheat at a different piece of the game to give them their individual gameplay style and or vibe while keeping the whole thing relatively balanced. But we're gonna talk about each one because green is the only one, particularly in Commander, where it is consistently deemed socially acceptable for them to cheat while the other colors get punished for it. They are greedy. They are coddled and in this essay I the built-in way green gets to cheat at this game is by permanently altering their resource production they get to make more stuff than you get to make for no reason they either get to play additional lands they get to play creatures that also make mana or they get to play things that make their other mana producers produce more but it does not end there if you are playing plus one plus one counters for instance guess what green gets to make more of those if you are playing tokens guess what green gets to make more of those and for the life of me, I cannot understand why nobody bemoans this rampant and lazy resource game that they play. Like, people will call it out when the green board is scary. They'll say, oh, we need a board wipe. Oh, we need a counter spell. But they will never talk about how the green players are put forth as the Timmy, the everyman, when they are in fact the bourgeoisie. They are taking the same game actions as the rest of us and getting paid double. Wake up. Let's contrast this completely unnecessary mercy with an often hated upon color blue. The way blue gets to cheat at Magic the Gathering is what I will broadly refer to as discreet action denial, aka they are your dad. If you want to do anything, you got to ask them permission and they are allowed to tell you no. If you want to cast a spell, they might be able to counter it. You want to have a creature on the field? They might be able to send it back to your hand. You have a thing with an activated ability? They might be able to keep it tapped forever and ever and ever so that you cannot use it. And even though they're cheating, is to look at you when you're cheating and go, hey, don't fucking do that. Should you lean into that too much, you will be derided for making games take too long and not having any of your own stuff to do. The white players are in a similar boat. The way they get to cheat the hardest at Magic is to impose additional arbitrary rules that are either unfairly oppressive to the other players or unfairly helpful to them. It's just like real life. Now, there are multiple types of rules they can impose. They can stop you from taking certain game actions. They can limit you to only taking a set number of certain game actions, or they can just impose some additional taxes on those game actions. But whichever direction you go, if you go in it at all, will get you called a fun hater. Suddenly, you don't want anybody to enjoy their cool cards. In contrast, people get mad at the black players because they only get to play their cool cards. The built-in method for black to cheat at this game is via card selection. They have the most access to things called tutors, which are cards that search your deck for a different card. In a 99-card game like Commander, this makes your deck far more consistent than everybody else's. But should you lean into it too much, now your game plan is suddenly too linear. It's too boring. It's too predictable. Last but not least, we've got these scions of unpredictability, red. The way red gets to cheat at this game is by ephemeral resource production. And for those who don't know what ephemeral means, it means for a little bit. They get to cheat on resource production one turn at a time. And what I mean by that is they have options to make mana that doesn't stick around or is one-time use. They have options to get cards out of their deck, but it also doesn't stick around. They only have the one turn to use them. Even haste, the keyword that is on red cards more than anything else, makes your creatures better for the first turn they're played because you can actually use them and then after that they're just as good as everybody else's creatures but should your silly little speedy deck ever go a little bit too fast everybody will claim that you have won out of nowhere and know that they need to kick you swiftly in the shins every future game before you ever get it going there is no winning unless you're green